there. Welcome to All Bodies Fitness 5-Minute Videos. Today I want to talk a little bit about uh, how to help with some of the muscle soreness and tightness that you have. A lot of times uh, muscles get knotted um, and a little bit of damage and then they don't work as well. So it's good to work on getting rid of those knots. And you can do a self-massage rather than having to go uh, get a massage sometimes to, to grab those muscles and help them out a little bit. So I'm going to show you a couple ways to do that. I have a softball and a foam roller. You could use both or just one. Some people like to use tennis balls too, put like three in a sock. And uh, there goes my foam roller. Um, but this works quite well. I found this was a good consistency as far as uh, firmness. And a lot of times do this on the chair. I even have some clients do it on a sofa. And say your hamstrings uh, felt really tight and they weren't working very well. You could go under them and you roll around on that ball and find the spot. And sometimes you have to move the ball obviously. Find a spot where it's like, oh, that's painful right there and put a little pressure on it and that's kind of where there's a knot. So if you put pressure on that spot or as close to it as you can if it's too painful, then uh, for about 15 seconds or so, it kind of helps dissipate the knot. So you find it and then you might have to go around and find another one. There's a lot of them sometimes. You have to be patient with this and give it some time. I just found one right there. So I'm gonna hold on to that for a moment. And it actually feels really good uh, while you do it. It's like a, it's, it's pain, but it's kind of like that massage pain where it's like, oh, I feel like it's helping the muscles. Right. And you obviously do both sides. Um, and the foam roller sometimes. Hi, tiger. That's a tiger. Foam roller is really good sometimes to work on some of the bigger muscles as well. And if you get down to the floor, of course, you can do your calves here. A good way to do them is to put one leg on it and the other leg on top of the leg you're working on to get a little more pressure. All right. Depends on how bad the knot is. Like if I found one right here, I kind of have to brace myself and get up on it. A little bit to get a little more pressure and push down and feel that knot and help dissipate it right there and hold on to it right that feels really good and obviously you know you have to work all through your muscles and find the spots sometimes it's gonna take a little time right you could even do your quads by turning over this way and leaning on the ball one leg here at a time and finding that knot and holding on to it hi tiger it does get, you know, it's a little workout for your upper body in a way because you hold yourself up. So that's good, right? Excellent. And, of course, the glutes get knotted as well. One of my favorite ones to do. Oh, yes. I always love doing it on the side here, on those glutes. And again, you know, your own body weight provides the, the little bit of pressure that you need, depending on how, you know, how hard it is. You can always get up and, and try and put a little more weight on it and hold on to that spot for about 15 seconds or so. You know, it's a little hard on the floor sometimes to get the upper back and, and shoulders. I really like to use the ball for that on a wall. So let me show you that. And again, you can use the foam roller on a wall if that's all you have, but it's just a little bit cumbersome. Make sure your hair is out of the way. Get into your rear shoulders here and then lean on the ball. Move it around until you find a spot. Again, you have to watch your hair if you have long hair. Find a spot that is kind of tender. Try and hold on it. And push into it or go near as possible and sometimes you can actually move to a little bit of range of motion while you hold on it too to help loosen things up right and that actually feels really good i have a lot of clients who get a lot of tightness in their their traps and such so I actually will push down on the ball for them because sometimes it's hard to get that angle <laughs> right there right you can push into the wall a little sideways but that actually will feel really good to loosen up those muscles with doing that and you can even do your pecs by laying on the floor or on the wall, like so. It's a little awkward sometimes. People will be like, what are you doing? Oh yeah, I just found a, a good knot right there on my pec. And you hold on to it and let it dissipate that knot so that the muscle can work better. And you'll find all places where, oh, I didn't even know I was sore there, right? And then afterwards, say I just got that nice release there on the pec. Then I can go ahead and do a pec stretch by putting my arm on the wall, turning away, and getting it, say it was this side, I'm gonna show you guys, get, get the uh, muscle now stretched after you got it released, right? And hold that stretch for a good 20, 30 seconds to help loosen up as well. So it's a really good routine to do um, anytime you feel like you're tight or a little bit sore to help out those muscles, um, or just on a regular basis as maintenance. And you'll find that if you do it often enough, you will find places where they often get knotted and then you can look at what you're doing as far as maybe you're slumping too much, that's why. Or, or tightening your shoulders a lot when you get tense or when you drive. And you'll be like, oh, I need to work on that because 
that's always tense, right? But it's important to work on it uh, on a regular basis. And it'll get better, like anything else, just like your flexibility if you keep working at it, right? So I encourage you to do so. If you have any questions, please send me a comment below or an email. I look forward to hearing from you and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Have a great day.